Welcome into the Walter Cronkite's ACHA Bracketology alongside Kerry Crowley. I'm Nick Merrick, and we're going to get right into it as the conference champions were just crowned this past weekend. We have a two-time ACHA national champion in the past 10 years, the team that just won it last season, and also the number one team in the ACHA currently. So, Kerry, who's going to be the most dangerous team to watch out of those conference champions? Well, you look at the ACHA rankings right now, and you don't need to look further than number one in the country, Adrian, out of the Great Lakes Hockey Conference. Uh, right now in the ACHA, they've been ranked number one for three, re three weeks in a row. The Adrian Bulldogs are definitely the team to beat, in my opinion. 25-3-1 on the season, haven't lost since January 5th. This is one of the most dominant teams in ACHA history. Well, Kerry, you bring in a very good point. Obviously, going to the number one, a solid choice is they're going to do well each and every season. But what I'm going to really look for is I'm looking a little bit deeper in the rankings. I'm going to go with Illinois is a very big surprise. Number one, the tournament is played in Chicago. That's only a three-hour drive away from Champaign, the home of the Fighting Illini. And on top of that, in the 2013 calendar year, 7-1 and one record for the Fighting Illini. That's fantastic hockey as they got leadership from their uh, senior captain, Scott Barrera, as he's really stepped up with 11 points in the 2013 calendar year. And then two freshmen as well are playing a very big, so they have a nice mix of both veterans and underclassmen. So look out for them to be very dangerous. And Nick Fabrini has a, certainly a great program out in Illinois. Well, what you love about Illinois is last weekend they swept uh, Robert Morris and Robert Morris is hosting the tournament so obviously they've got a little mojo going they can knock off the host team so that's very important if Illinois can really do that that would be a big win for the program number nine in the country right now but we saw Oakland make a run last season deep into the tournament and they weren't in the top five so it's teams like that that are picking up momentum towards the end of the season that can really go far in this national tournament. Kerry very good point is certainly have to look down in the lower end of the bracket so brings me to our next question is who is going to be the team to watch out for out of the the entire ACHA, independence included, in this national tournament. Well, I'm going to go with a little bit of a surprise pick here. I'm going to take the number six Oklahoma Sooners, and they're ranked number six because of their big wins this season. Of course, they have 11 losses, which is tied for the most in the top 10 with uh, the number 10 Liberty, but Oklahoma's ranked number six because they've beaten teams like Arizona State. They just beat Central Oklahoma last weekend, 12 to one, and that's a team that can compete with the best of them in the ACHA. So obviously, the Oklahoma Sooners are finding their mojo right now. They've got nine different players with at least 20 points points, a ton of different ways to score the puck, and solid goaltending as well. Oklahoma is playing very well, especially against Central Oklahoma last weekend, but the one to watch out for is that sweep against U of A may creep up and hurt them. If that's the Sooner team that we're going to see in the National Tournament, it could hurt their chances, so I'm going to play maybe a little more safe of a bet, and I'm going to go over to the matchup between the Arizona State Sun Devils and the Minot State uh, over in North Dakota. The reason for that, these teams are playing this coming weekend. If the Sun Devils can stay healthy, they have by far the best talent in the ACHA, hands down. However, Minot State comes in as the best defensive team in the country. When I say that, 44 goals against allowed this season. That's the best. Eight shutouts, both goaltenders. They go with a, a dual goaltender squad, have less than a 1.75 goals against on average and a 94 save percentage unbelievable hockey out there. They don't have the danger on the offense, but they always do say defense wins championships, so look for Minot State around that three spot to creep up and really scare some teams. And you mentioned Minot State and Arizona State. Could you just imagine if the Arizona State leading scorer, Kale Delinsky, still played for the Beavers? What a team that would be right now. Oh, well, Kale Delinsky certainly taking his talents over to Tempe, Arizona. It's Seem to be a great fit with head coach Greg Powers as well, so Arizona State will be also a team to watch as well as plenty of others, but that'll do it for this week's roundup of our ACHA Bracketology. For Kerry Crowley, I'm Nick Merrick, and stay tuned for some more national coverage by Cronkite Sports.